Good evening and welcome to Experience Bar, where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack, and I'll be your bartender for this evening, so I show you how to make the only drink worth fighting a civil war over, the White Gold Tower from the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Let's get started. So, for the White Gold Tower, you're going to start off with a shaker half filled with ice. Um, Tail and Jay's recipe, uh, thankfully, is spelled out for us by the bartender himself, and all of the ingredients have real-life equivalents, so this is a nice and simple one. Uh, the first one is a set of blended meads. What we've got uh, is a honey liqueur, a honey wine, and a honey and lavender simple syrup. If you don't know how to make that last one, check down the description below, and I'll leave a little recipe. It's not hard, don't worry about it. So we're going to add all of those to our mixing glass filled with ice. Again, you don't have to have a specialist mixing glass, this is just the glass half of a Boston shaker. Oh, and I should probably tell you how much of those to put in. Um, three ounces of the honey wine, one ounce of the honey liqueur, and half an ounce of the honey lavender simple syrup. So, we are going to stirry stirry. Once that is nicely chilled, you can usually tell because the outside of the glass will start to go a little bit condensated, like this. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. You are going to take your vessel, which is a champagne glass in this case. I like this particular one because it's got that nice uh, towerish, curvy shape. Uh, but you can just use a standard champagne glass if you don't have one of those, that's no dramas. You're gonna strain it on into there, making sure you leave a little gap at the top. So the second ingredient that Tail and Jay mentioned is uh, lavender, which we've already dealt with with our simple syrup here. Uh, but the third one is cream. This is a little bit of a tricky one, guys, because you can't just use any old cream with this. Trust me. <laughs> I have tested and tested and tested and tested and tested and tested and tested. This is such a nightmare of a drink. Look at this. And you have to use a very high milk fat cream. The one that I'm using today um, from Lewis Road Creamery is a double cream. Uh, in the US it might be called a uh, heavy whipping cream, I know that that works. Um, in the UK I actually can't remember exactly what it is, but essentially you just have to find whatever the highest milk fat cream that your local supermarket has, try to make sure it's more than 40% saturated fat on the back. Otherwise, you're gonna end up making a drink that just basically ends up looking real vomitous. Once you've found said cream, you are going to be just gently layering this over the top, over the back of a spoon, so that it sits very nicely. Ooh. Uh, there is one last thing that we need to do though, which is optional. Um, Tail and Jay says that he puts a dragon's tongue on top of the drink, which is, uh, from looking at it in the game, it looks like a kind of orchid or an edible orchid. This glass doesn't really lend itself to that. So we're gonna do a little bit of creative license here and we're gonna just add a little bit of culinary lavender on top, just to give it a little bit of color. But yeah, that's it, that's the White Gold Tower from Tail and Jay. Uh, here's to the patrons who make this drink happen. Cheers. <sighs> Lovely. So, uh, like I mentioned, this is uh, only one of the three drinks that Tail and Jay offers to the player at his uh, bar, uh, the B&B in Riften. Uh, we've actually made the other two, the Velvet Lachance and the Cliff Racer, before. Uh, just check our channel if you're curious about those. They are pretty damn good. Um, this one is different from those in a couple different ways. The White Gold Tower is inherently kind of like a political drink to begin with. Uh, the White Gold Tower itself be, uh, changed from a symbol of imperial sovereignty of the imperial city to kind of a symbol of Thalmor oppression following the signing of the White Gold Concordat, which resulted in the civil war that's now being fought across Skyrim. The fact that Tail and Jay has decided to name one of his drinks after such a symbol, that takes some stones on his part, especially being based in a Nord town, and especially being an Argonian himself. It's also different from the other two because it's a lot simpler than the other two. There's literally only a few ingredients and all except the dragon's tongue has real life equivalents. Uh, people who have seen the Cliff Racer video will remember that I talked about how I struggled to find out what Sujama was. With this it's just meads, cream, lavender. Very simple, very easy to make, though it does highlight a very important uh, mixology technique, which is the layering. Key, key part of layering, by the way, just in case you feel like doing this uh, at home with any other drink, 
make sure you're getting a drink that has two very distinctly different uh, weights or densities of liquid. Um, so things that are really sugary will tend to sink to the bottom and things that are really alcoholic tend to rise to the top. So if you're gonna do a layered drink, make sure that you uh, get them very different, otherwise it's just, it's just not gonna work. One thing on that note that we have had to change with this drink is Taylor Jay's original recipe says that the meads sit on top of the cream. So he pours the cream in first and then floats the rest on top. That doesn't really happen in real life because cream is, while it's very heavy, it also has a bunch of lipids in it which tend to float on top of basically anything you put them in, especially with higher fat creams like we're using today. The drink itself, um, also very distinctly different from the Cliff Race and Velvet Lachance in that it's very creamy, obviously. Uh, it's very sweet, definitely a dessert drink, very floral as well. Even that small amount of lavender simple syrup that we put in at the start there, it makes a huge difference to the flavor profile. You probably wouldn't want more than one. It's very rich, uh, it's very flavorful, um, definitely a drink to have after your meal, not before. Yeah, that's it. That's the White Gold Tower, um, a recreation of a drink from Tail and Jay of the Bee and Barb. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been Jack Stone. This has been Experience Bar. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourself. If you have, leave us a like and subscribe. Um, comment down below if you want to see another game cocktailized or a cocktail gamified or mixture of the two. <laughs> We've also got a subreddit and a Discord set up and the usual Twitter, Facebook, Instagram socials where we post some extra content. So, you know, go and check out my inevitable fuck ups up on there. And if you really, really enjoy the show, if you really want to support us and want to see more of this, head over to our Patreon. You get some extra cool stuff, uh, including a D&D &D recipe book and an upcoming new recipe book because we just unlocked that as a goal. So sign up now if you want to get your hands on both of those. Yeah, that's it from us. Thank you so much for joining me. We're creating new content every two weeks. Hope to see you then, but until then, cheers. <laughs>